Hey, what is up, guys? This is Church of Caboose bringing you another uh, Destiny 2 video. Now, one of the things we all like to know are what guns are good, what are they good for, and if there's a catalyst, what's the fastest way of getting that catalyst, uh, how to complete it. And today, we're going to take a look at Risk Runner. Uh, it's an arc submachine gun, so it goes in that good old energy slot, and it's intrinsic perk is going to be called the arc conductor when taking arc damage this weapon becomes more powerful and resists incoming arc damage kills extend the time in this overcharged state this is an exotic submachine gun and it is kind of fun to fool around with uh, i was doing escalation protocol with my wife earlier today uh, she was grinding out for that shotgun and i was got reminded by a clan mate like hey I want to, he's like, I want to use Risk Runner and finish my catalyst. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have the same catalyst. I should finish this too. So I whipped that sucker out. And it occurred to me that part of why I haven't really used this weapon in quite a while is because I didn't really find a lot of its worth as far as when you can use it. Because it's really only good when you have Arc Conductor active. Like, it's not super anything special <laughs> if the Arc Conductor is not active. And what I found during this escalation protocol is that when it, that perk is active, this gun is quite a beast. And uh, we're going to take a look at some gameplay. Uh, what I think are the best ways of utilizing this weapon and then in pairing with it how to finish the catalyst the fastest. So here, real quick, we're going to take a look at the perks that this weapon has. So besides our conductor, we're going to go from left to right. We have arrowhead break, lightly vented barrel, greatly controls the recoil and increases handling speed. Then we have extended mag, which is you know gives a and a higher magazine capacity, but it slows down the reload speed. So that's kind of the trade-off. Then we have superconductor. When arc conductor is active, shots fired have the chance to become chain lightning and return ammo. And I'm not sure what it necessarily means by chance because it seems like it's pretty much guaranteed when you got arc conductor going that the superconductor works. But who knows? So maybe it's best to be using it in a well. I was using this as a warlock almost constantly, and so that could be why I never had issues. So you might want to use this with the warlock, even Luna Faction boots on when you're working on the catalyst. But, anyways, in the last perk, short action stock. This weapon is especially easy to grip, greatly increases handling speed. So not terrible perks overall. It's not at all bad, and the catalyst that comes with it uh, doesn't really do a whole lot, but increase the range, and then you know you can generate orbs upon multi-kills, which you'll be getting lots of orbs if you're using Superconductor and you're doing this correctly. Um, so how I found the best way to use this weapon is you want to either be doing things that have lots of arc enemies so hive would be a great example because almost all the knights and a good chunk of the acolytes do arc damage uh, almost all of them I mean, there are some that do solar but you know hive has a good chance for solar uh, excuse me for arc damage fallen enemies there's a fair amount of arc damage dealt especially by captains and shanks and then scorn would also have some arc damage but it would come more from those explodey like little crawling thrall type scorn as opposed to the other enemies. So I found this to be most useful when fighting the fallen and fighting the hive, which is why I think that using this weapon in escalation protocol or anything that's hive related, so maybe even Crown of Sorrows, uh, that, or Crown of Sorrow, the new raid, or um, Gambit Prime could be a good one for this as well because there are Fallen and Scorn matches that you can come across. Uh, how you can compensate for having less Arc incoming damage is you can run an Arc subclass and make sure that you have on a grenade or something that you can damage yourself with that's Arc without killing yourself. So as you might see in some of the background gameplay, particularly when it gets to the Gambit Prime match, is every once in a while I throw a grenade right at my feet and it's that way it gives you some damage and that activates the the catalyst, the uh, perk, the, excuse me, not the catalyst, but the arc conductor. So that's one way you can utilize the risk runner without having the ads. Because if you hurt yourself with some arc damage, such as a grenade, then you will activate that arc conductor and you can get the 
perk without having to be hit by arc incoming damage from an ad. I hope that all makes sense. Uh, so the fastest way for getting this done is because for the catalyst, if you do have the catalyst, you have to get kills with the weapon as well as superconductor kills. So it's a little bit easier to do the two at the same time. So I would highly suggest doing things like escalation protocol. Uh, if you're working on pinnacle weapons such as the hush, you could have the risk runner in your inventory slot and switch in and out however you seem uh, feels fit for you and just work on getting this gun done because it is pretty fun and it's not terrible. I enjoyed using it. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to rig it with some of the gameplay I shows is one a particularly fun streak with the risk runner right off the bat in that Gambit Prime match. But anyways, I thank you guys all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, I've, I know we all try and find what guns work the best for us and in what situations and DPS and all that kinds of goodness. So I hope that uh, if you're wondering, is it worth using my Risk Runner and trying to get that catalyst, that you get to see at least a little bit of the gameplay of using it, as well as how one should use it and decide if it's up to you. I would not recommend using this gun as much in PvP unless you're finding you're able to consistently get that Superconductor active, because to me, when I was fooling around, it wasn't working very well, as opposed to using like Recluse or the Aikilos SMG or uh, Huckleberry. So that's just, that's just my opinion, though. And I'm also not a PvP god. Anyways, thank you guys all so much for watching. I'm Church of Caboose, and happy grinding, y'all.